Fine. Let's start the class. Let's start the class. Uh, in the last class, we are discussing about visuals. We discussed what are the visuals we have for visualizing the categorical data. Whenever we want to visualize categorical data, what are the visuals we have we discussed. As part of that, we discussed uh, about a pie chart. We discussed about pie chart. We discussed about donut chart. And we discussed about tree map. And I shared a video about bar charts and column charts. And I shared a video about bar charts and column charts. Anybody have any questions about bar charts and column charts? Let me load some tables to create the visuals. Get data, Excel. Orders, click on load. Fine. Now, the next visual in the same categories, we're done with pie chart, donut chart, tree map, and bar charts and column charts. And the next visual in the same category is a scatter chart. Scatter chart visual. Let's talk about scatter chart. Just give me one second of time. Fine. Scatter chart. So what is scatter chart? We'll discuss now. Scatter chart visual. So let me add the visual and I'll discuss about it when we need to use it. I'm taking a scatter chart here. And first before we start, we talk about the purpose of the scatter chart. We'll talk about the field wells, and then we'll explain it. So details, legend, x-axis, y-axis, size, lot of field wells are there. Size, tooltip, a uh, play axis, tooltip. Almost seven field wells are there in the scatter chart. Seven field wells are there. Now let's talk about each field well. Let's talk about each field well. So in the scatter chart, I want to show a region by sales and profit. I want to compare sales and profit for each region. I want to compare sales and profit for each region. Whenever we need to compare sales and profit for each region, I, I want to go and present in scatter chart. So region wise, region is a dimension column. First dimension column, want to drag into the details. First dimension column, we want to drag into where? Details. So region column, you need to drag it to the details. And first fact column, region wise sales. Sales into the x-axis. So first fact column into the x-axis. Sales is the first fact column I need to show, x-axis. And it is showing the sales values in the x-axis. This is the x-axis. and you can even show region names. This is one region and this is another region, another region, another region. You're not seeing the names, right? You can go to the format. You can go and enable the category label. 
when you enable the category labels display category labels so you can see so it is showing south region is doing approximately 0 0.4 million sales central is doing 0 0.5 million sales and east is doing around 6.8 million sales 0 0.68 million or something around 0 0.7 million sales west is doing so it is showing some sales and second fact column you can drag it to y-axis i want to drag a second column second column to the y-axis y-axis region wise sales and profit rate i want to show profit column to the y-axis so here in the scatter chart i want to show region wise sales and profit region wise sales and profit region wise sales and profit whenever you need to show region wise sales and profit region into the details sales into the x-axis and profit into the y-axis next fact column you need to drag into the y-axis now you'll see the visual like this so here you can compare uh, for two different regions i can i can compare south and central so compare south and central sales and profit so which region is doing more sales south region is doing more sales or central region is doing more sales now you are see what it will show is you are showing sales in the x-axis you are showing profit in the y-axis so what what scatter chart will give is the intersection of sales and profit it will give central region we're having a sales of approximately 0 0.5 million and we have a profit of 40k the intersection of these two you'll get a bubble you'll get a bubble so for a region wise sales and profit you are showing the intersection of sales and profit will get one bubble guys you get one bubble east region is doing around 0 0.7 million sales it is doing around 90k profit it is giving around 90k profit 90k profit the intersection of this two will get a bubble you are showing profits here and you are going to say you are showing sales in the x-axis the intersection of sales and profit you will get a bubble and now tell me south region is doing more sales or central region is doing more sales south region is doing more sales or central region is central region is doing more sales when you go towards right south is doing less then central is doing more east is doing some more West is doing some more. When you go towards right, that means the regions which are there in the right side, they are doing more sales. The regions which are there in the left side, they are doing less sales. Here, when compared south with central, central is doing more sales. And tell me, in the same way, which region is doing more profits? So the regions which are in the bottom, they are, they are doing less profits. The regions which are in the top, they are doing more profits. When you compare south and central, central is doing central is giving less profits than south region central is giving less profits than even though central region is giving more sales is doing more sales but profits are less so when you compare central with south central is giving more sales for us even though as it have more sales but when it comes to profits profits are less and west region is the one where we have more sales and more profits both both the values are more for the west region both the values are more for the west region yes yes so here when you need to one second guys so west region is the one which is giving more sales and more profits whenever we need to compare Whenever we need to compare two measure values, then we can go and present the data in the scatter chart. Guys. When you need to present the data in the scatter chart is, so here for a dimension values, I need to compare two measure values. Whenever you need to compare two measure values, then go and present in the scatter chart. I want to understand which one is giving more sales and more profits or which one is doing more sales or less profits like this I want to compare. So here, when you compare South and Central, Central, even though it is doing more sales, it have less profits. So West is the region where we have more sales and more profits. Whenever you need to show any data, two measure values, when you work, we need to compare. So better to go and present in the scatter chart. Whenever we need to compare two measure values,
measure values whenever we need to compare two measure values whenever we need to compare two measure values we need to use scatter chart guys we need to use scatter chart scatter chart right whenever we need to compare whenever we need to compare two meeting uh, two measure values we need to use scatter chart so here i'm comparing two measure values sales and profit just give me one second someone is not able to access the meeting link they are they are pinging me So I, I said that dimension column you need to drag it to the details. First fact column you need to drag it to the sales, and second fact column you need to drag it to the uh, first fact column to the x-axis and second fact column to the y-axis. And the next one is next one is if you want to drag second dimension column. If you want to drag second dimension column, where we can drag it? If you want to drag second dimension column, we can drag it into second dimension column. You can drag it to the legend, guys. You can drag it to the legend. You can drag it to the legend. Just give me one second, guys. I'll share the meeting link to her. I'll get back to you. Whenever you need to use second dimension column, the second dimension column, you can drag it to the legend, guys. There is another field well with the name legend where we can drag the second dimension column. Let's assume I want to show region-wise, category-wise, sales and profit. Region-wise, category-wise, sales and profit. When you want to show region-wise, category-wise, sales and profit, you can drag the category column to the legend. You can drag the category column to the legend. Before I drag it to the legend, so before we go here, so now you are showing every bubble with same size. In in this scatter chart, you, you, scatter chart, you are showing. Uh, some people will call scatter chart as bubble chart also. Bubble chart also, scatter chart or bubble chart. Now you are showing every bubble with same size. Every bubble with same size. I want to differentiate. I want to differentiate the bubbles. I want to differentiate the bubbles with size. I want to differentiate the bubbles with size. So how I want to differentiate is the regions which have more sales, I want to show bigger bubble. The regions which have less sales, I want to show small bubble. So when you want to differentiate the bubble size, there is a field well called size. I want to give the bubble size based on sales value. I can go and drag the sales value to the bubble the size. I can go and drag the sales column to the size. When I drag the sales column to the size, the regions which have less sales, you can see in small bubble. The region which we have more sales, you can see in a bigger bubble. You can even increase the bubble size. Go to the format. Go to the shapes. You can increase some size. You, you can see the difference here. The regions which have more sales, you are seeing bigger bubble. The regions which have less sales, you are doing, you are seeing small bubble here. Right. When I want to show a region-wise, category-wise, sales and profit, we understand. Uh, if you want to drag second dimension column, the second dimension column I can drag it to where legend. Second dimension column I can drag it to legend. So drag category to the legend, which will show region wise what is happening. It is not allowing. Okay, okay. So when I drag category here, it will show region wise, category wise sales. When you hover here, you can see this is East region technology, this is the sales. And this is the profit. Intersection of this two, you'll get a bubble. So you will see region-wise, category-wise, sales and profit. I already said it. It is not mandatory that you need to fill all the field wells with columns. 
when you are working in the projects we don't fill every field well with the columns so when a when a when a visual contains seven field wells hardly we will fill three field wells or four field wells so not all the field wells it is not mandatory but very rarely we might utilize all the field wells so 95% of the cases we utilize very less number of field wells when you try to drag the columns into all the field wells understanding the visual might take time so when you are creating the visuals you need to keep in mind that your client want to understand the data and the visual within less time when your client is seeing the data within less time they need to understand the data when you try to fill all the columns here all the columns in the field wells for them it might take some time to understand the data that is the reason very rarely we might fill all the field wells so but we are trying to learn about all the field wells we have to drag dimension columns and fact columns right region wise category wise sales and profit we are showing here and i uh, will discuss about tool tip uh, now if i want to see a region wise category wise sales profit and quantity also where can you drag quantity this time one more fact column so in the x axis already there is a fact column we cannot drag another fact column in the y axis there is already a fact column we cannot drag another fact column and i want to show quantity now the only option is tool tip you can drag the tool tip when you drag something to the tool tip let me remove it to make it simple let me remove it when you drag something to the tool tip where you can see you can see region wise sales profit and quantity so when you already have x axis one on fact column y axis another fact column if you want to show one more fact column you want to drag it to the tool tip and play axis the next field will is play axis into the play axis what we need to drag into the play axis we need to drag a dimension column guys so a date dimension column into the play axis we basically drag a date column a date dimension column so look at this i can drag order date column when i drag order date column so it will show the order date in the order date latest to date december 30 2017 is the latest to date i have in the order date column december 30 20 Twenty-seventeen is the latest date. That latest date value should will show, and you can play it. Starting from that, it will show. When you show each date wise, each date wise might be we know the date. Every day it will show each region how much sales it is doing. But showing at a day level is not a right option. So here you can even drag here instead of dragging complete date. We can even drag the year. When you drag the year. by default it will show in the order date column what is the last year i have so last year in the order date column is 2017 when you play it so first year is 2014 i have the data from 2014 till 2017 how the values are changing you can play and you can see you can play how the values are in 2014 so how the values are in 2015 how the values are in 2016 how the values are in 2017 i can play i can see the values so if you want to see region wise sales and profit each year wise we can play and we can see in 2014 how the values are 15 how the values are 16 how the values are and 17 how the values are when you click on any region here how the trend is changing it will show when i click on any region so it will it will show you this is 14 year and this is 15 year this is 16 year and this is 17 year so when you compare 14 with 15 so for for central region when you compare 14 with 15 tell me is the sales is increasing or decreasing when you go towards right sales is increasing when you compare 14 year with 15 year the sales is increasing when you go towards right right sales is increasing when you go towards up profit is increasing from 14 to 15 profit is also increasing from 15 to 16 it is going towards right that means sales is increasing but it is coming towards down towards bottom and that means profits is decreasing profits is decreasing from 16 to 17 sales is increasing and profits is increasing like this for every year if you want to see you can when i click on any year it can show the trend for you when you click on any region how the values are changing for each year it will show the trend guys or you can play and you can see each year how the values are right you can drag a date column into the play axis right basically 
we will utilize these three field wells in majority of the cases. Details, x-axis, y-axis. This legend, uh, and uh, we will utilize size also, guys. We will utilize size also. Uh, uh, if you want to give the bubble size, bubble based on the any measure, you can drag that measure. Display axis and uh, legend, very rarely we will utilize it. But on the whole, details and legend are used for dimension columns. And play axis is also used for dimension column. And here we will drag date dimension columns basically. And remaining x axis, y axis, size and tooltip we use for fact columns. Fact columns so these are the field wells we have anybody have any questions about this uh, field wells now formatting options what are the different formatting options we have let's discuss the first formatting option we have is the first formatting option we have is general general is about where to place the visual we already know about it x-axis if you want to format this x-axis you can format it here y-axis if you want to format this y-axis we can format it here zoom sliders zoom sliders you are seeing some uh, new option with the name zoom slider what is the zoom slider let's understand here the zoom slider is let's take an example instead of region let me drag subcategory let me drag subcategory when i drag subcategory I'm not able to read the values properly here. Look at this. So there are some values here, subcategories values. I'm not able to read them properly. So I'm not able to read them properly. So when you are not able to read the values properly, client, when you share this visual with the client, there are some values here where they cannot read them properly. So if they want to read that values properly, what they want to do? So you can provide a provision to them to add a zoom slider. When you on this, it will add a slider, slider in the x-axis as well as y-axis. So clients can zoom that visual. Look at this. Now I'm able to. You, you can even zoom like this. But when you when you when you use the zoom sliders, now I can read the values. See previously. So when it is when we don't have zoom sliders, I'm not able to read the values. So especially here, there are some values I'm not able to read them. I can add the zoom slider and I can zoom the visual. I can zoom the visual so that I can read the values properly. So that I can read the values properly. If you want to add the zoom slider, you can add it. So in the zoom slider, do you want to add it only to the x-axis? Do you want to add it to only to the x-axis? Or do you want to add it to y-axis? Or if you don't want in the y-axis, you can stop it. I'm just adding to x-axis only. Or if you want in y-axis also, you can add it in the y-axis. And slider tool, slider labels. When you are sliding, uh, what is the what is the range you are? If you want to show that labels, you can show it. So if you look at this here, it got added some labels in the bottom. It got added some labels in the bottom. Right? It got added some labels. This 0 0.0, 0 0.1, that, that are labels. If you want, you can show it. If you want, you can stop them. So when I stop the slider labels, I'm not seeing them. So or else slider tooltip. Slider tooltip means when I when I'm sliding, it is showing 0 0.1 million, 0 0.2 million, 0 0.2 million, 0 0.3 million. Some something it is showing here, right? If you observe, that is nothing but slider tooltip. Do you want to show that slider tooltip when you are changing? So when you want to show that slider tooltip when you are changing 28k, 25k, that one, if you want to show, you can on it. If whenever you need to format the slider, you can format it. So it's up to you. If you want, you can on. You can. If you want, you can stop it. So let me remove subcategory. Let me drag a region column only. A region column. A region column only. A region. Right now, the next formatting option is. Data colors. Now you are showing every every bubble with the same color, right? If you want to do the conditional formatting, you can do it. So if you want to do the conditional formatting, when sales is so much, show it one color. From sales value is from zero to zero to some so and so value. So with show with one color. From a 30k to some other value, show with another color. 
from so and so value to some other show with another color whenever you need to do that you can go with data colors you can click on conditional formatting and you can you can format it so based on sum of cells you want to format so by default color scale lowest sum of cells will show light color highest sum of cells will show dark color or else if you want to do the conditional formatting we can even do the conditional formatting we can even do the conditional formatting yes so you can even define the rules also in instead of that if you want to define the rules from so and so number to so and so number what values you want you can define it same conditional formatting we can even do it here and shapes now you are showing bubbles right instead of that you can reduce the size uh, or you can increase the size or 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 you can change the marker shape guys you are showing circle um circle or diamond you can change it or so any 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 shape you can shape it triangle if you want to sh change the uh, shapes you can change it you can change it shapes then plot area so we know about plot area in the background if you want to add any image we can go and add it using plot area in the background of this visual i want to add my company logo you can add it in the plot area go to plot area add an image browse the image desktop desktop backup i want to add my logo in the background of this visual so you can reduce the darkness of that color you can fit or you can fill it or you can keep it normal how whatever it is looking good you can you can add a logo in the background if you want to add any image in the background you can go to plot area you can add an image and if you if i don't want any logo there i can remove it right then category labels guys category labels so if you want to format if you want to format this labels you can format it south central category labels if you want to format this labels you can format it what color you want what color you want and what is the text size you want you can form color border if you want to add the border color if you want to add the border color you can add it on you can on the border so you can see border here you can stop the border and you can on the border here so there is an option called color by color by is nothing but on when i on color by each each region will show a different color previously it shows today uh, it it will show each previously when it is off everything is uh, showing the same color everything is showing the same color when you on each region is showing the different color color by each color by category each category if you want a different color you can add it remaining options are same title background lock aspect border shadow tooltip visual header same formatting options which we have with other visuals this is all about the scatter chart so by this we are done with visualizing the categorical data there are a lot of visuals comes under this this category when they have less number of categorical values pie chart and donut chart are best options when they have medium number of categorical values tree map is the best option when you have more number of categorical values bar chart bar chart is the best option and if you want to compare two major values you need to go and present in a scatter chart for any categorical values if you want to compare you can you can have any column here category column or any column if you want to compare two categorical values you can go and uh, if for for any categorical value if you want to compare two major values you can go and present in a scatter chart fine so we are done with visualizing categorical data the next category of visuals so far we are done with two categorical uh, category of visuals visuals for filtering the data or visuals for visualizing categorical data the next category of visuals is visuals for visualizing date and time related data whenever we need to visualize date and time related data what are the visuals we have we'll discuss visualizing date and time related data so visualizing date and time related data in this in this category first visual we will discuss about is line chart the first visual in this category is line chart 
so whenever we need to first the purpose of line chart is so whenever we need to visualize date and time related data we need to use line chart guys let me write here whenever i need to visualize line charts are used to visualize date and time related data line chart is used to visualize date and time related data date and time related data line chart is used to visualize date and time related data people also call date and time related data as trend data date and time related data people also call it as trend data trend data or time series data time series data whenever you need to visualize date and time related data or trend data or time series data we need to use which visual line chart client is asking to show year wise sales year wise sales year wise sales year is what client is asking to show year wise sales year is what here year is a date and time related data so whenever you need to show date and time related data you need to use which chart line chart so let me go and take the line chart here line chart and what are the field wells it contains it contains access legend values secondary values and tooltip tooltip we understand what is the purpose of line chart now let's talk about what are the field wells it contains what are the field wells it contains so first of all when i want to show year wise sales where i want to drag the year and where i want to take drag the sales so always year is a dimension column first dimension column into the axis you want to drag the year column into the axis and where i want to drag the sales i want to drag the sales value into the values drag the year to the axis and drag the sales to the values which will show each year what is the sales 2014 what is the sales so i can go and enable the sales numbers here you are not seeing the sales values here right we can go and enable the sales values here go to the format and enable the data label enable the data label you are able to see each year what is the sales value in 2014 the sales value is 0.48 million in 2015 the sales value is 0.47 million so when compared to 14 and 15 sales values decreases or increased decreased even though when there is a decrease a small decrease 0.01 million so when there is a small decrease you are able to notice it why we will present in the line chart is any date and time related data why we will present in the line chart is even when there is a small change when there is a small reduce in the sales or increase in the sales when there is a small reduce in the value or increase in the value we can notice in the line charts easily we can notice that in the line charts easily that is the reason people will present the data date and time related data in the line charts in the line charts now there is a reduce in sales we are, we are seeing it clearly we are able to notice it and from 15 to 16 there is a increase in sales from 16 to 17 there is a increase in sales right i am able to show each year wise sales each year how much sales you are getting are able to see it fine if you want to see now you are showing complete a complete year complete sales i want to see year wise category wise sales in 2014 category technology so this 0.48 million is coming from technology furniture office supplies office supplies i want to split this complete sales year wise category wise sales year wise category wise sales or else before we go and create year wise category wise sales i want to show year wise sales and profit year wise sales and profit how to show year wise sales and profit so this time one dimension column and two fact columns how can we show year wise sales and profit let me add one border to this border let's add one border to this i want to show year wise sales and profit take let's take the same line chart in the line chart i want to show year wise sales and profit as usual year into the axis as usual sales into the values 
and I want to show profit also. Go to the format, enable the data labels. I want to show profit also. When I want to show profit also, basically second fact column also you can drag it to where values only. I'll go and drag second fact column into values. Now look at this. It is showing both year in the x-axis and sales and profit in the y-axis. And when you see sales, sales is a light blue color line. Profit is a dark blue color line. In the sales, I can I can observe the trend properly here. Whether there is an increase in sales or decrease in sales, I'm a, I'm able to observe the trend properly. But when it comes to profit, we are not able to observe the trend properly. Uh, trend. So you are seeing a flat line almost. Why? Because their values are like that: 0 0.05 million, 0 0.06, 0 0.08, 0 0.09. So when you compare sales value with profit value. Profit values are very small numbers. Profit values are small numbers. Sales values are bigger numbers. When sales values are bigger numbers, when profit values are small numbers, not recommended to on the same scale. So now you are showing both sales and profit on millions. A sales values are bigger numbers. Profit values are small numbers. But you are you are trying to show both sales and profit on same scale. It is not recommended, guys. It is not recommended. When when one measure values are very less numbers when another measure values are a bigger numbers it is not recommended to show on the same scale what you can do is there is an option called secondary values there is an option called what secondary values in the secondary values you can drag them so you just show year by sales so now when you want to show profits don't drag the profits to values only see when i want to show year wise quantity i can drag it when I want to show year wise quantity, I can drag it here. Year wise, how much quantity we sold. And year wise quantity and profit, when I want, I can show it. So even here also, they are not recommended. So here also, you are seeing a flat line. So when, when, when scales are different, sales and profit, when I drag it, sales value is a bigger number, profit value is a small number. That time, not recommended to show on the same scale. Now, profit, you can drag it to secondary values. There is a another field will with the name secondary values where we can drag the second fact column when the scales when the scales are not when the values are not reaching each other so you can show one on values and you can show another one on secondary values look at this when i drag profits on secondary values look at this how the visual will come now you are showing year by sales year by sales sales line is this light light blue color line in the uh, year year left side sales you are showing and year wise profits you are showing in the right side so you are able to see sales here but you are not seeing profit here better to show profit right better to show profit here so how to show profit here so you need to go to format when you want to make any changes to the visual you need to go to where format i need to go to format go to format in the format you have y axis y axis is nothing but this and you will have secondary y-axis. This one is secondary y-axis. Secondary y-axis is nothing but secondary y-axis is nothing but this. I want to get profit here. When you want to get the profit, you want to format here. Go to the secondary y-axis. Somewhere in the bottom, you will see an option called title. Title. It is off. Just on this. On this. Now you are able to clearly understand year by sales. I am able to show it in. Uh, left side and year wise profits i am showing in right side so sales scale is, uh, sales color is light blue color profit color is dark blue color. now i am able to see trend properly when compared to previous look at this when compared to here when i go and drag profit here when compared to here here i can understand the data in much better way when compared to here i can see the trend of the line here whenever you think that the trend of the line is not showing you can utilize what secondary values you can drag the one more fact column to the secondary values fine so in the values or secondary values we'll drag fact columns only fact columns only now i want to create a visual where i want to show year wise category wise sales so you are just showing year wise sales here i want to split this complete sales based on each category i want to show year wise category wise sales when i want to show year wise category wise sales how can i show it year wise year comma category wise sales category year comma category wise sales whenever you need to show year year wise category wise sales how can i show it i can take one visual here 
a line chart in this i want to show year wise category wise sales first drag year first dimension column into the axis and first fact column into the values year wise sales and you can go and enable the data labels and you can add add one border also you can add one border right you are showing each year wise sales and i want to split this based on category the next dimension column you can drag it to legend go to the legend drag the category column to the legend when i drag the category column to the legend it will split up to, so it is showing furniture light blue color line office suppliers dark blue color line technology orange color line so now you can compare it guys 2014 furniture what is the sales 2017 furniture 215k sales 2017 office suppliers 246k sales 2017 technology 272k sales like this we are able to show year wise category wise sales year wise category wise sales now i want to show year wise category wise sales and profit tell me where can we drag the profit now along with the sales i want to even show profit also year wise category wise sales and profit also i need to show how can i show year wise category wise sales and profit tell me guys where i need to drag the profit here guess tool tip i want to tool tip why why is it not possible to drag it to secondary values or it is not possible to drag it to values if you already have a field in the legend values cannot allow multiple fact columns we know about it when i try to drag the profit here will it allow it will not allow it will overwrite it will overwrite it is not allowing at the same way when there is a field in the legend secondary values also will not allow secondary values also will not allow when i drag profit column here it is not allowing why there is a field in the legend when there is a no field in the legend secondary values can allow when there is a field in the legend when there is a field in the legend even secondary values also will not allow the fact column then only option is what you want to drag it to the tool tip you want to drag it to the tool tip these are the field wells you have on a line chart access legend for dimension columns values secondary values tool tips or for fact columns or for fact columns fine now we'll go and see formatting options go to format general where to place the visual legend to format this legends you can go to legend x axis to format this x axis you can go here y axis to format this y axis we can format it here secondary y axis to format this you can go to the secondary y axis zoom sliders if you want to add the zoom sliders so sometimes when we are not able to read the values if you look at this here in this visual sometimes even reading the values is not possible here if you want to add a zoom slider go to the format you can add the zoom sliders when you add the zoom sliders you can zoom now i can read the values now i can read the values if whenever you need to zoom sorry guys whenever you need to zoom the visual you can zoom it whenever whenever you are zooming it you, you can read the values previously 2014 values i am not able to read them now okay bit okay so whenever you need to zoom whenever you need to read the values you can add the zoom sliders where the clients can zoom the visual and they can read the values here they are intersecting with each other if you if you add zoom sliders we can zoom and we can read the values easily and same way data colors now you are showing the line colors so if you want to change the line colors here if you want to change the line colors so if if you go here you are showing profit a dark blue color and sales if you want to change the colors you can go to the data colors you can change it i can go profit i can change to yellow color i can change it here or oh, on so data colors you can format the data colors here so show all means it will show all this uh, you, you can go and change 14 15 14 let me change to some color here what 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 you will observe so this bubbles you are getting right so 14 if you want to show a different color here you can show it 15 if you want to show a different color there you can show it 16 if you want to show a different color there you can format it something like this so okay so let me click on revert to default i don't want it so whenever you need to format a line colors you can go to the data colors you can format it and data labels data labels are nothing but these numbers these numbers whenever you need to format these numbers you can go with the data labels and you can format it 
so in the data labels if if you if you go and change the color by default it will change for both sales and profit i want sales values in one color profit values in another color look at this the requirement is i want sales values with one color let me copy this visual to a new page control v and let me maximize it so i want sales values in one color and profit values in another color when you want sales values in one color and profit values in another color how can you get it so you can go to uh, sales sales numbers in one color i want uh, profit numbers in another color you can go with data labels in the data labels when you make any changes here it will change for both but when you go down there is an option called customize series when you go to the customize series so it will allow you to change data labels it will allow you to change data labels guys look at this when i go to the customize series when you on the customize series will have sales and profit here you can select sales you can change the sales values colors i can change the sales values colors here i can have sales values in black color look at this now sales numbers are showing in black color and i can format it label density lot of different things you are seeing there you just format it and then uh in, and i can go and change it to profit and i can go and change the profit values color to something else this color you can change it if you want to change each one you want to go to data labels only but you need to go and click on customize series in the customize series we can change it guys in the customize series we can change it right the next one is shapes shapes so if you want to format the line so this line is there right if you want dotted line now you are seeing a bold line sometimes we need a dotted line i want to show profit line in the dotted color so a dotted line you'll find an option called solid line dashed line this is a dashed line or dotted line or solid line you can change it now you are changing both the lines so uh, you want to show the markers there you can show the markers if you want to change the marker shape there you can change the marker shape and if you want to change the marker color there you can change the marker color you can format all this so if you want a stepped line this is another style of line stepped line this is a curved line right instead of curved line if you want a stepped line like this you can even go with stepped line so now you are changing both of them instead of changing both of both the lines i want to change only profit line when you want to change only profit line you need to go to customize series go to customize series on this when you on this i want to change only profit line go and select profit for the profit i want to have a stepped line now for the sales i have curved line for the profit i have a stepped line.